going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today's video is a little bit more solemn than usual. I like to be jovial, I like to have a good time, I like to talk to you guys about fun stuff, but some things need to be addressed. And uh, this video is about something that's happened recently uh, over the last year here in Georgia that's really made a lot of waves in the news circuit. Um, it's about family and it's about what family means and how some people take that, that idea and twist it and contort it and how it can affect the most vulnerable of us, which are children. If you look at this image here, you see all these people, this family. It's a nice looking family. I'm from a blended family as, as well. I've created one, but these people, you know, these children, everybody seems to be caring for one another. And the idea in your mind is everyone is looking out for one another. They want the best, especially for the children. Uh, I think that when, when it comes to uh, children, you want as much evolution as possible in one generation. So you want your children to be better than you are mind, body, and soul. You want your children to know at the age 20 what you know by 40. You want all that stuff. You want your children to be psychologically sound. You want them to be emotionally fit for the world. And uh, unfortunately, there are people who take this idea and, and turn it upside down for their own sick, twisted desires. And that's what today's video is about. It's about this sick couple here in Georgia who um, did the unspeakable to their own adopted sons. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna really get into the, the idea of these guys' sexual preference, because I know there are plenty of people who are um, gay, who have adopted children and treated those children like with love and, and raised them properly. But this is a very sick, macabre story, and I hope that um, these guys get what they have coming to them. This story is from the New York Post. And as you guys know, I, I got six kids. I got 21 year old, 22 year old, I got four at home. So I've, I've done the parenting thing. I, I love all my kids and I protect them their whole life. So this, this kind of hits home for me. A gay couple charged with molesting their adopted sons also pimped them out to pedophile rings. Pedophile rings. Now, if they pimp these kids out to pedophile rings, that means that the, the FBI, whoever's doing the investigation, should know who's all in these rings. And hopefully they all get some serious time, if not life sentences. Because to me, um, the, the, the uh, debauchery against children is a crime to me against humanity. Children are the most innocent of us. A gay couple from Georgia charged with molesting their two adopted sons and using them to record child porn also allegedly pimped them out to members of a local pedophile ring according to to a disturbing new report. A months long investigation by Town Hall revealed that William Dale Zulak 33 and Zachary Jacob Zulak 35 allegedly used social media to prostitute their two elementary age sons. <clears throat> this pisses me off, guys. <clears throat> it pisses me off. You know, I got. Uh, William Zulak, a government worker, and Zachary Zulak, a banker were indicted in August of 2022 on charges of incest, aggravated sodomy, aggravated child molestation, felony sexual exploitation of children, and felony prostitution of a minor. But the shocking investigation reveals in more detail the sickening abuse the boys suffered. For the first time, it was revealed that the men allegedly pimped out their older sons, now 11 and 9 years old, to two other men in a pedophile ring. These sick bastards right here. Sick, sick virtue signaling bastards that go under their, you know, they'll, they'll use their flag as a symbol of virtue while they're doing the most twisted, sickening things to these innocent children. One of the men, this is one of the guys in the pedophile ring, Hunter Clay Lawless, 27, told investigators that Zachary, whose Instagram bio describes him as Papa to our two wonderful boys and an activist invited him multiple times to take part in sexually abusing the boys. <clears throat> well, at least they'll be able to um, uh, experiment in prison for the rest of their lives. Hopefully they never get out personally. It's just me being personal. I think acts like this, you don't, you shouldn't be able to get out of prison. I think these are acts that the penalty should be castration. The penalty should be death. These are children. 
However, Lawless claimed he never had physical contact with either child. Lawless also claimed Zachary sent him multiple messages on Snapchat, including one that allegedly read, I'm going to F my son tonight, stand by, along with images of himself sexually abusing the 11-year-old. So the investigation is sealed. These sick freaks' fates are sealed. And I hope that other people out there who may be thinking or, or, or doing this kind of stuff to children see this this needs to be something this needs to be put out there in the open they need to to throw the entire book at these guys and get, give them the most harsh penalty you could possibly get because we're talking about children guys we're talking about protecting the innocent the two men were arrested on charges of soliciting an act of prostitution with an 11 year old boy according to an indictment it's unclear whether lawless and armando vicaro sanchez had any physical interaction with the boys but they're in a pedophile ring, so they should at least be under some type of serious, serious investigation to find out what they've done in the past. Because, you know, you don't get into a pedophile ring just because it's a cool thing to do. You get into that because you're mentally twisted, you're mentally sick, and people need to watch you for the rest of your life. The Zulocks who lived in Oxford, an affluent suburb of Atlanta, adopted the children from a Christian Special Needs Adoption Agency. Way to go, Christian Special Needs Adoption Agency. Way to go by... Giving these children who have special needs to the devil. That's what you did. Whoever okayed this for these little boys to be put through this needs to be fired. They need to have a, a much more rigorous um, uh, steps that people need to go through to get these children. I see they didn't put the Christian Adoption Agency's name on here at all. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> all right, let's continue. Look at these guys. A banker and a government employee. Deputies responding to reports that a man was downloading child porn raided the home in Loganville where they found evidence the pair were engaging in sexually abusive acts and, and video documenting this abuse. During the raid, William was pulled out of his home naked. The government worker has admitted to forcing one of his sons to perform oral sex on him with the intent of satisfying his own sexual desires, according to a sworn affidavit. These freaks need to be. His husband admitted sending child sexual abuse material to several people, according to the news outlet. Uh, the couple has been active in a local LGBTQ community. Prominent LGBTQ publication Out Magazine reportedly asked to feature their photos on its website, according to the Daily Wire. Town Hall said it spent months reviewing recorded jailhouse calls, court documents, and testimony from a relative who spoke exclusively with the outlet about the extent of the abuse, as well as the faster-than-expected adoption process that led to the nightmare. William and Zachary have pled not guilty, each face over nine life sentences if convicted. Thank you, God. Uh, nine life sentences is nothing compared to what they're going to do to these freaks in prison. Nine life sentences is nothing compared to what those hardened criminals are going to do to these sick, disgusting demons in prison. You don't do this kind of stuff to children. These little boys, these poor little boys are going to have this stigma on them for the rest of their life. They're going to spend probably the next 10 years in someone else's home. And they're going to have all kinds of therapy and psychologists trying to get this out of their mind so they can have a normal life because of these sick evil bastards. I think a death penalty is better for these kind of people. I had to cover the story because it touched me. I got a 12 year old upstairs. I got a 10 year old upstairs. I got a six year old upstairs and I got a two year old upstairs. And my whole life is about protecting them. And if you have children, if you're about to have children, if you want to one day, that'll be your life too. To protect your children and make sure that no one ever does this to them. And to see these sick fools doing this to children, it's beyond infuriating. These kind of guys, if this had been a family member of mine or a child of mine, I would want to have gotten to them before the police could. And I'm sure there are a lot of people who feel that way. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Should there be a new uh, perspective on potential uh, penalties for this kind of crime? Should we look at the judicial system to see if child molestation should have an immediate death penalty? Because I think it should. Castration needs to be brought back to the West to make these people think twice about doing this to children. 
I hate people like this. I think it's the most evil thing you could ever do. And it bothers me. It really does. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I'm about to get back to work. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up to, to help out with the algorithm. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.